Hi, this is Stacy Tukey. Make sure that you watch So You Think You Can Dance, the finale is next week. And make sure you subscribe to Synergistic. I'd say the main thing that I've taken from this experience is just that like, I can surprise myself as a dancer. I came in thinking I'm a contemporary dancer, like this is what I do. But week after week we're thrown into so many different styles and I just really proved to myself that I can do anything and that's the biggest thing that I've taken from this whole experience. You know, I, I think it's, uh, we, we have known from the very first second that we saw Casey that he's an amazing dancer and that he was a great, you know, pirouetter. Uh, the fact that I think he really actually made a huge emotional connection with his music. I felt that he surrendered to that music tonight. Sometimes I feel like he fights the music, you know, and he's trying so hard. This was a performance that he just seemed to blend and melt together with Mackenzie and, uh, you know, certainly his best performance tonight. Yeah, I mean, for her to say that was so great. I feel like my two pieces tonight were two of my favorites that I've done this entire season, so I'm so happy that even though I'm leaving tonight, like, I went out with such amazing dances that I love doing. Well, a lot of the dancers are really young. You know, Casey's never, I don't expect him at 18 or 19, however old he is, to, to have really experienced that. Um, so it was about finding something that was real to him. And so we talked a lot. I mean, in rehearsals, we dance a lot, but we also talk a lot because I feel like if he doesn't feel it, we're not going to feel it. So he was peeling away the layers, trying to find that place that was really vulnerable. And he would show me in rehearsal, and then we'd get on stage and he would take it away. He would get like, I just get so excited, I want to dance. And I'm like, that's not the side we're showing. And so finally, um, it was a lot of peeling, a lot of peeling, and I finally said, I don't care what happens on stage. I don't care if you do the wrong steps. You have to let us in. And tonight there was a little tear in his eye when he was performing, and I just said to him, I said, how did that feel? And he says, I've never felt like that before. And those words, to me, are what the show's about. As a choreographer, touching a dancer like that and changing them in a way that hopefully he can take into all his dance jobs from here on out um, is really what's the most important to me. So I was proud of him. I think he touched on his potential tonight. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going on tour, so that's next. It's a long one. We'll be there till February, and um, I think I'm just going to take it step by step after the tour and see what happens. Definitely see a possible move to LA. I live close, Orange County, but I think I might live to the city, move to the city for sure. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys really are the best fans ever, and I love you.